a prayer for the young, old, and the thousands of African migrants who die at sea while trying to reach Europe. A small moment of silence inside one of the world's biggest Roman Catholic Church. It is a replica of the Vatican St. Peter's Cathedral, located in Ivory Coast's remote capital, Yamasukro. So large is the church that during Sunday Mass, the small congregation rarely fills the building. In fact, for most of the time, this cathedral is empty. Where human beings experience beauty, they have a glance into the, the, the mystery of God. But for most people here, God's mystery is found elsewhere, in this small parish less than a kilometer away from the cathedral. We love the basilica and we go there on formal occasions, but here we can shape our worship, pray and discuss matters that are important to us. We are comfortable in our church. Back at the basilica, the bishop gives his sermon to a gathering of young university students. He tells them not to be tempted by Europe. Stay here, he says, where there is everything you need. This is your church. The basilica was built 26 years ago to attract young people to this fertile but underpopulated region. It was built in just three years. It took 109 years to build St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. This isn't an exact replica of St. Peter's Basilica. It's slightly taller. And take a look at this small but significant detail. At the heels of the Christ is the depiction of an African man. That's Felix Humphrey Boigny, Ivory Coast's first president. He had this church built in his hometown, perhaps to leave a lasting legacy of his reign. Only in 2012 did the Vatican officially recognize the church, after authorities agreed to build a hospital for the people in the area. The Vatican needs to gain support in Africa. According to a report from Georgetown University, there are more than 200 million African Catholics. Yet too often they say they are overlooked by the Vatican. Rome alone has four cathedrals and we build one in Africa and people criticize us. This for me is unjustified. Despite the low attendance, Ivorians say they are proud of this church. For them, it embodies all the possibilities to be had here, offering an opportunity for the many who will never make the trip to the Vatican. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Yamasuko, Ivory Coast.